Last time we ripped the roof off the E46 in preparation for a carbon fiber roof. Today we'll be doing some rear suspension work. We start by taking out the upper rear control arms. The inner ball joints are OEM still, and we're replacing them with ground control's spherical bearings. The spherical bearings are a better choice than OEM for a race car because they eliminate unwanted flex and reduce deflection for better handling. Two bolts hold the control arm in place. Once you remove them, you can wiggle the control arm out. It's easy here because we already have the differential out. I took off the end link pieces because we're going to be replacing them with AKG's rear end links. We use a press to remove the old bearings. The new ground control bearings are directional. You'll notice one of the inner pieces is a little bit longer than the other. The longer piece faces the rear of the car. After we press the new spherical ground control bearings in, we reinstall the upper arm. The rear trailing arm bushing, also known as the R-tab, also has to be replaced. If you have an R-tab tool, it's very simple to press out and use the same tool to press a new one in. You can also use an air chisel and pop it out fairly quickly. We use a big C-clamp to press the new bearing in. These bearings are Teflon lined and keep your rear suspension aligned and consistent. The OEM bushings have a tendency to wear over time and eventually produce inconsistent handling. After you press the new bearing in, you can put the bracket back on and bolt the trailing arm back together. We put the differential back. It has new AKG bushings pressed into the ears. OEM rubber bushings deflect torque as it moves through the drivetrain and allows the differential to move. The aluminum bushings eliminate all movement for better power transfer to the wheels. With the diff in, we can button up the rest of the suspension. We're using iBox springs on the MTS 3 way remote suspension. Huge thanks to iBock for sponsoring the E46 and sending us a ton of different springs to test with. We use these helper springs to keep the springs in place when the car is up in the air. For the front, we're using Ground Control's race camber plates. These plates give us the most amount of camber and caster out of all the ones in the market. It's all starting to come together. The motor is going to get refreshed and then the car needs to go to paint. Thanks to all of our sponsors for helping us on this project and stay tuned for more. But he's saying, don't hit the trigger until this is pressed against the roof. Yeah, otherwise it shoots the thing out. Shoots the thing out like a projectile. Yeah. All right. I'm getting 9 Put it against this thing? Yeah, oh put it against God. that. Frank, do you want to be on this side? No. Frank, why don't I be on this side so that we neither of us die? Yeah, there you go. Oh, let me move the camera. Hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. No. Don't look at it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, don't squeeze the trigger. No, it, it was against it. It was against the rover. <laughs>